Hi, today we're at Little Joe's Pizza and Restaurant on Cedar and Francis. Let's go inside and see how New Lenox eats. Hi, I'm at Little Joe's Pizza and Restaurant today with Sue and A.B. So Sue, why New Lenox? Well, it was an up and coming area and we have uh, our restaurant in Tinley Park as well. My crazy husband over here wanted to open another restaurant. So New Lenox is a great area and uh, it all turned out nice. Now you have another one in Tinley, is that the only, this in Tinley is the only two restaurants you own? Yes, Tinley Park and then New Lenox. Do they both have the same menus? Pretty much so. Um, they're both large menus. We have a great variety of um, food and uh, I know one thing we have here in New Lenox is uh, liver and onions that we don't have in uh, Tinley Park and some other dishes as well. We have more here I think in New Lenox. Yeah, a little different. We have more stuff in here than Tinley. And, you know, more meats, more fish and stuff like that. No, I, I think New Lenox is better than Tinley anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm biased. <laughs> and I was going to say we also serve breakfast here in New Lenox. Okay. That a lot of people um, more are aware now, of course, after we're almost here six years. Um, however, breakfast is really good. And then when we started out in the beginning and people didn't believe we had breakfast, they'd say, what do you serve for breakfast? And I'd say, uh, cold pizza and beer. <laughs> so a lot of people said, okay, we'll be in for it. But uh, no, we serve everything, you know, skillets and eggs and... Belgian waffles and pancakes, the usual, you know, but very good. We would ever say, how do you serve an, an Italian restaurant serving a breakfast? Well, you know, yeah, we do. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You're full service then. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the history of the restaurant. Oh, the history goes way back. Uh, 51 years we just completed, and thank God. Um, I was born the day my father, Pat, and my godfather, Joe, were partners. They opened the restaurant and uh, grew up in the restaurant. We were on 63rd in Richmond and uh, 31 years there. And uh, growing up in the restaurant, I happened to meet my husband in the kitchen, who uh, anytime I ordered food, he'd send me out a beautiful plate of whatever I ordered, um, but would also include a few hearts made of, uh, I'd find hearts in there made of cheese or uh, carrots or something, and he got to my heart. That's why she stole me. <laughs> no, he stole me. That's a good story. It's a very good story. But I'm look, looking for my hearts. I haven't had any hearts in my food in a while, so. Oh. I do once in a while still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get busy. You know? Yeah, busy. I'll stand up for him. Okay. I understand. I'm a, I'm a husband myself. It's, <laughs> you get busy. That's right. Um, your father started in Chicago? Yes, uh, 63rd Street in Richmond, 2921 to be exact. and. Uh, yeah. Uh, then he moved out, or did he, is the restaurant the restaurant's no longer? Uh, no, we um, sold in uh, 1990. Uh, sold that restaurant. They did, and then um, it just was such. A, it was in our blood, you know. And so many people had asked, you know, when I mentioned we sold Little Joe's, you're kidding me that they didn't know or whatever. But it was such a household name, you know, with the community. Um, we were big doing, you know, a lot of little leagues that would come in after their games and everything, and. Um, we just wanted to keep it going, so I asked Dad to, you know, how can we keep it going? And he said he'd front the money, but he, you know, we'd be partners, and uh, we opened in Tinley in '90. And uh, now, is your father still involved in the business? Or? No, he's not. He um, he actually passed four year, five years ago, but um, but he started a great thing, and he got to see us open New Lenox. He got to be here a couple times before he passed, and then uh, he uh, started a good thing. And what, what's your menu like? What, what menu do you offer besides breakfast? Before, besides breakfast. Um, oh, we have, a lot of people think we're just pizza and they're pleasantly surprised. I mean, our pizza's great, don't get me wrong, because we make our own dough and our own sauces and um, we have three different types of pizza, um, the, well, more than three. We have the thin crust, we have a deep dish, we have the stuffed, and we each, the stuffed has a different sauce that we make um, for stuffed, it's called stuffed sauce, and then our thin crust. Um, but we make uh, everything from scratch. Everything is fresh on the pizzas, all fresh ingredients. But we do have steaks, uh, seafood, uh, sandwiches, pastas. Over 30 
right? Over 30 different pastas, and it's all sauce that we make our own, all different, all different sauces. Our own lasagna is homemade. Um, we make it on, on we grind the, the meat and we make it on balls, uh, sauces, sauces links, sauces for a pizza, and uh, we do almost everything from scratch. Oh, so everything's yeah. everything's made here. Yes, yes. Yeah. fresh. Oh, wow. that's, that's really but, nice. Well, we don't make our own pastas except lasagna, but, okay. but all our sauces we make is are fresh and yummy. Yeah, sound like it. Get hungry. Yeah. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> and we offer now the pizza too, the free. Oh yeah, they the, are gluten free. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many people. Um, thank you. You know, health conscious now that yes. they want um, gluten free, and um, so we have the pizza and pasta also that is gluten free. We're trying to help. You know, other people and well, that's, that's you know, very people. considerate. That's very nice. So it seems like you've got a pretty big history. Yeah, we really do. And um, in fact, I wanted to tell you that the very first waitress that worked on 63rd Street is here tonight. And it's my aunt Jo. Aunt Jo. That's good. And and you have a of course you're the second generation. Is there a third generation? Yes, there's third generation. And uh, Victoria, our daughter's here today. Hello, Victoria. Hey, Victoria. <laughs> yes, and she's Hi, 10 you. years old. And she grew up, is growing up in the business like I have, and she brings the menus to the tables and likes to help out the hostess and sit and talk to people and even mooches some French fries or whatever right. now and then, right? But she charged, you know, she don't want to work for free. She wants to get <laughs> paid. <laughs> She's too <laughs> expensive. <laughs> and then we have two sons as well, uh, growing up in the business. A 16-year-old, Vincenzo, and Gerardo's 20. And or, uh, they are both in the business as well, so we'll see who gets what. Well, hopefully at that time you'll have enough restaurants where everybody will uh, have their own. Another one, huh? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe franchise. Okay. We're talking about that, so okay. we'll see. Well, speaking of that, why don't we go, let's go cook something. Sounds good. What are we gonna cook today? Well, we're gonna cook the linguine al don navy. That's uh, sauteing with garlic and oil. Okay. And then we added some peppers in there, uh, portabella mushrooms, and broccoli. Just sauteing that for a few minutes. Oh, and then after that, then you added some garlic. Oh, I have to have fresh, garlic. Fresh garlic. Yes. And then, uh, then you Throw some uh, trim in there and okay. set them for a few minutes. Okay. Then you add a little little salt, a little oregano, all right, and some pepper. Okay. And then, then we gotta add in the the pasta. Can you oh, add yeah. the pasta for me, please? Throw it in the water for a second. It's ready to go. And. That looks good. Okay, I am using that thing. And this is the linguine al navy. That looks very That's good. Ready. Smells wonderful. And that's really, really fast too to, to cook. Yes. And that's, that's done. That's uh, ready to go. Put it on a plate. Put it on a plate. So, wow, that like looks this. beautiful. So, Dave, here comes some goodies for you. Oh, yeah, this looks familiar. A little shrimp, portobello mushrooms. This is the Linguini Don Alla AB, which is named after AB here. It's got a lot. Mm. What, tell them what's in it. Huh? Yeah, saute uh, linguine, garlic and oil, broccoli, peppers, yellow peppers, and uh, some spices like uh, oregano and pepper. It's very, it's very good. It looks, it looks even better, and it tastes phenomenal. I, li I like, the, I like the, the, the flavoring of everything. It's very good. Very good. There's another one for you. Oh yeah, sun-dried tomatoes and chicken. And more broccoli. More broccoli. Broccoli is good for you. And uh, the penne, 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 penne noodles. Now, uh, a lot of our dishes, you can pick your own noodles. The 
customer really? can pick whatever they'd like. What is the difference? You know, the penne and the, the fettuccine, but like linguine and spaghetti, what, what's the difference? Well, they basically all taste the same, but some people like um, to slurp them like, uh, you know. Yeah, that's <laughs> easy. I think the most chali is easy to eat. You know, it's not so messy like a linguine. And, and uh, that one they call the number three. There's a number three. Number three? Uh, because we have so many different pastas on the menu, so we okay. name numbers and names with them all. Now, what's the what's the sauce on this one? That's olive oil and garlic olive as well, garlic. right? Well, Here's good. another one for you. Oh, sausage and peppers. That's a mainstay. This is our giambotta alla susi, okay. so that's named after me. Okay. <laughs> so uh, that's a great popular dish as well, too. It's our homemade mm. Italian sausage. It's got green peppers. Mm. Green pepper, potatoes. red pepper, potatoes. And the sausage is out of this world. Onions. And uh, really popular there there for catering we we sell them so much. Yeah, we've yeah. trays and trays of our you know we also cater here. Okay. So. Uh, so you can get this more as a catered dish. Catering, too? yeah, or in the restaurant no, or it's, it's, banquets. It's, it's very good. The sausage is out of his world, and the sauce is phenomenal. Yes. A lot of garlic tonight, Dave. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. And this was named after you. Yes, this is named after me. <laughs> mm. We like all our names. We. We had a hard time picking a lot of different names, but it was fun. Now, did you come up with these dishes, or? Yeah, but some, yeah. <coughs> Most, uh, like those two, yeah, the, the, I star and, and, and try, and then you they yourself? got a good thing, yeah. and then we put it in the menu. You did a wonderful job. This is very, Thank very you. good. And you don't have any hearts in your food, sorry. No, I don't have any hearts in my food. <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a phenomenal cook, though. Yeah. Davey's great. Very good, very good. Dave, try the mustard chali. It's very good, too. This is a side you get? Yes. Mustard chali marinara sauce. Mm. Sauce is very good. All the dishes that come with the side a pasta most the, are dishes. Potato or pasta. Did her pasta? Oh, so nobody leaves little Joe's hungry, huh? No, nope. nah, nah, little Joe's. Huh? Sue, Abby, thank you very much. Little Joe's Pizza and Restaurant is how New Lenox eats. <laughs>